I'm Erin Fury, Associate Crafts Editor at Martha Stewart, and today I'm so excited to be here with Jenny from I Spy DIY <laughs> and make some personalized stamped makeup cases. Can't wait, let's get started. You will need erasers, a craft knife and cutting mat, stamp pads, and a blank canvas zipper pouch. All right, let's do it. I'm excited to see what you're gonna do. <laughs> I'm thinking triangles, some sort of fun pattern like that. Probably something geometric would be right. an easy thing to carve into right. an eraser. So do you go right to it or do you draw it out first? I don't know. <laughs> I was going to draw. I was thinking of doing an E for Aaron. That will be amazing. Is that lame? Okay, I'm going to stick to a triangle for beginners. <laughs> I mean, the good thing is erasers are not so expensive, so if we screw up... And you have two sides. You have two sides. So you can try as many as you want. <laughs> There's okay, my E. e. Triangle. All right. So next we take our exacto blades. I'm going to use my mat for leverage. Yeah, good call. The fabric is soft, so when it presses down, you get all those little edges. It's so satisfying to cut into, isn't it? <laughs> and the cool thing is, that once you create this stamp, you can really stamp anything. I mean, we're doing makeup bags mm -hmm. today, but you can stamp a tablecloth or definitely a shirt if you wanted to. Yeah, you could make like a packaging, wrapping paper, or something uh -huh. like that. Okay, I got my triangle. What are you? What color are you gonna do first? Well, I'm gonna do a lighter color first, okay. and then do a darker color. So maybe I'll carve an F for my. my Ooh, let's do one on the other side. Side. <laughs> So, what kind of fun projects are you working on for this spring? A lot of fun, bright colored things for this spring. Mm -hmm. That's one of the things I love about your blog is just how bright and colorful oh, and happy you. it is. Thank you. Okay. okay, we're ready, right? Should we test first before we go? Yep, yep I think we should give all them a in. Test. Okay. Oh, that's nice. No, oh, that's so cute. Amazing. I love it already. Okay, now it's so much more nerve wracking <laughs> than the actual. No, you're okay, first. Okay. That's so cute. It's the perfect little travel bag. Uh oh, look what I did. It's backwards. Oh no! <laughs> like I almost oh, sort yeah. of like how that looks. It's your new logo. Any I, cool materials you're liking working with lately? I really like printed fabrics. I've been doing mm. some reupholstery things, so nice. I've been reupholstering some chairs, and my studio has been really black and white. So I'm mm -hmm. trying to add more pops of color and really trying to make it a fun, lively space. Yep. Okay, so now uh, what pattern? Which one do I want to do next? Mm. Should I flip it? <laughs> yeah, flip it. With black? Maybe I could do all my I love blue my new ones. logo. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Happy accident right there. Into black. You really gotta like press it. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. It's like shark teeth. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what I was going for. <laughs> this was such a great idea of yours to do makeup cases. I'm I know. I always am looking for a cute makeup case. And mm -hmm. I feel like this is such an inexpensive way to really customize something. Right. Oh, yours looks so cute. I'm really getting into this. <laughs> Jenny, these look amazing. I know, I love them. They're so cute. Now we just need to heat set them so we right. can use them forever. Uh-huh. Right? I'll definitely travel with this. What are you going to do? Lipsticks. All my lipsticks are going to go in here. Of so. course. Thank you so much for the oh, idea. Thank you for having me. And it was so much fun crafting with you. And you too. Craft on. <laughs>